Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Horndogman3, or HDogman1212, or Jacob, or whatever you want to wish to call me. So guys, today we're going to just talk. Um, I'm not really going to be doing much on our ass. I'm just going to be training my woodcut and hopefully get about 10k experience in woodcutting by the end of this video. We'll see what happens. Um, anyway guys, today I have something pretty interesting to talk about. Um, a few months ago, I woke up and I thought of an idea. It was an epiphany. And I was like, wow, this could actually be pretty good. And what it is, is it deals with RuneScape, of course. It's, um... Okay, you have RuneScape. It's an MMORPG, Massive Multiplayer Online Role Playing Game, right? So, basically... Um, sorry if you can hear the wind. I don't know if you guys can, but it's pretty windy outside. It's like 40 miles per hour winds right now, so that's pretty cool. In the middle of January, well, it's actually the end of January. Um, anyway, basically, you have it's an MMORPG, massive multiplayer online role-playing game. So it's online, there's people playing with you and stuff, you have a player-based economy and stuff like that. So I'm thinking we have an online version of RuneScape, in an offline version of RuneScape, and the offline is where I'm going with this. Why doesn't Jagex make an offline version of RuneScape? Like, it's a CD, so it's not like in a web page, it's a CD, and you play by yourself. And, like, some of you might be wondering, well, that's so stupid, now how are we going to get items and stuff? Well, there's going to be shops that you can buy it from, like, instead of this unreasonably priced shops that we have now, like, if you... Some, like, of course some bosses would have to be dumbed down, like, in X and stuff, which you can't really solo all that well. Um, and maybe some other bosses dumbed down a little bit. But for the main part, you have to kill bandos if you want a BCP. But there c might be still some shops where you can get a BCP for, let's say, 40 mil. Okay. But, I mean, you can also sell your maple logs and other stuff like that for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 GP each, you know what I mean? Um, so, basically, we they'd have to change the economy quite a bit, um, being that a GE is impossible because how the GE works is by uh, other people selling items and other people buying the items. It's just a big trade place where it's a lot easier to get items, but someone has to be selling it, but because you're the only one playing, no one can sell you anything, or vice versa, buy anything from you. Um... So, like, if you want a DFS, you'd go have to kill it, which I understand this would take a long time, but that's why I'm all, I'm saying that there should be a uh, a shop or many shops that have a variety of items. I'm not saying that a divine should be sold or all the items should be sold in the game. It's like through a general store or something, but a majority of it because it's going to take you a while to achieve that money by yourself when you can't have other people play with you. Now, another thing with that is you have the buying part which you get items. Now you have to sell items. Bones and stuff, you might have to sell them for like uh, money because like right now you at the general store if you sell bones, normal bones, you'd probably get like 10 GP, but in the G they're 100 GP. So I'm thinking that they'd have to rate, they have to basically have general stores and stuff, but have everything worth a lot more because you need more money. Um, now, runes and stuff, I mean, we have the rune shop in Varrock, the magic guild, and stuff like that. Uh, now, it, it's, I think I'd prefer to play offline than online, reason being is. Uh, I I kind of wanted to do this. I wanted to uh, start. I wanted to make a new character, but I got over it because I already have a big guy, a uh, main guy, I should say. Um, and every single item I get has to be obtained by RuneScape means, not by training. So if I wanted a dragon pickaxe, I'd have to go kill the dwarf kinnaneer or whatever peoples in. Uh, uh, King, King, uh, what's what's his name? King Dern, whatever. Underneath Varok, G. 
if I wanted a dragon pickaxe, or dragon hatchet, sorry, I'd have to go kill dag kings. You know what I mean? So, I, I every single item I'd have to attain myself. Rune, if I want a rune plate body, I'd have to go either buy it from um, Oziok in Edgeville, or get it off a drop. So I was thinking about that. I thought that'd be pretty cool. Um, now, for experience rates, because they already have online runescape and a lot of people already have really good accounts, they'd have to speed it up the experience rates. Not by a lot. I'm thinking two times the experience of what RS is. So you can get a, uh, you know, nine nine wood cutting in let's say ten days instead of thirty or something. I know that's totally not two times, but experience, but whatever, you know, because not many people are going to start over from scratch when they already have a really good guy already on online runs game. Now, the reason I say this is an offline game is, one, I'm saying it's so good because it would be really great for economically for Jagex. Um, each game could be $40. Now, say, oops, sorry. Say we have, uh, uh, let's see, 100 people, okay, let's say 50,000 members are right now playing, or have subscribed to RuneScape, 50,000, and, okay, it's, let's say it's $6 a month, that's three, uh, 300,000, is that right? Six, five, yeah, 300,000 dollars. Now, of course, they're raising it up so to uh, seven dollars, and or is it eight dollars? I don't remember. Um, and and that would be uh, four hundred thousand dollars that they'd be making per month. Now, if they sell this, I mean, you you just you can't just have play online or offline. Of course, you can do both at the same time. Um, but the offline one would be about I'd say $35. I mean, that's a standard game and it will, it's going to give you a lot of gameplay time as you guys know cuz RuneScape takes a long time to beat. Now, $30, say only 10 th people buy it. 10 Did I say 10 people? 10,000 people buy it. That's still 300,000. That's how much you're making per month. So I don't see why you wouldn't do it when basically you already have all of the information and scripts and ideas and stuff flowing. You just have to create the CD, basically. Of course, it's not as easy as that, but I mean, it's it's not like you're making games from scratch. Um, now, of course, a lot of people like to play online because you know they have friends, they want to hang out with them and stuff. Which I mean, I totally get that. I love bossing with other people, but. On the contrary, why can't you play both RSs at the same time? Say you're fletching on offline, and you're killing Ankus on the other one, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it's it's a pretty cool idea. Um, I don't think I have much more to say about it. Um, experience rates, da-da-da, da-da-da. Now... <sighs> Why would you want to play both at the same time? Um, I don't know. <laughs> That's just up to you. I just thought it'd be really, really cool to have something like that, where it's a CD, so it's going to be a lot easier to play, and there's not going to be as much downtime and stuff, server lag, and all that. It's pretty much just going to be based on your computer specs, how well it runs. Also, with uh, it being on a disc, it could be a lot higher graphics. Now, I'm not the one that parades about graphics and stuff. I could care less about graphics. That's why I always play in lowest detail. I don't even set it for my computer's ability. I just set it for minimum detail because I rather just have fast gameplay speed because um, what I really care about is gameplay. Um, so, I mean, if they can perfect it or just um, get it offline to a point where a lot of people would buy it. Now, say if they had every single member to buy it. You, you, you hear, even think about this. I was talking about the money, and that would be like $35 each. Now, some peop some free-to-play people don't buy membership because it's you know $7 a month. So, 
they don't want to keep buying it and buying and buying it. Well, this is a one-time purchase. I mean, after, and you get all the member benefits with it. And so, for $35, you basically have, you're, you're paying, $35 can pay you six mem um, six months of membership on normal RS, on online RS, where it could, it's infinite months and infinite years on uh, offline. So, I mean, that makes a big difference because some people might not want to buy the reoccurring membership, which I understand because uh, Jagex would be losing money because now some people are quitting online membership for offline gameplay. But I don't think that happen as much because, one, you have a good guy on online so you're not just gonna give them up that easily and start from scratch. You're gonna you're gonna continue starting uh, on offline, but still gonna play the bossing and stuff because you really like it. Because that's the stuff you enjoy. Building up is a pain, and you kind of still want a little taste of that, you know, bandos or something. That's another thing. Bossing on offline. There's not gonna be anyone competing with you for a world. Frost dragons, they're all yours. Bandos, Arma next whatever you don't have to find a world it's all there you're by yourself you can uh go pick flax wherever you want you can go fishing spots wherever you want you're not bothered uh, mining there's you're not going to fight for runite ore spots of course you only have one world so you're going to have to wait that full 10 minutes or whatever it is for it to respawn but there's you're not going to fight for anything um PKing, sure, you're not going to have PKing, and I know a lot of people are going to dislike this because I'm saying this and they didn't think of this already, but for those people that want to do green dragons, for those people that want to kill revenants, they don't have to worry about PKers anymore. Now, something that they could do is they could add uh, not intense um NPCs in the wilderness, such as they did with Revenants, but just um, some characters or dragons or something that roam around, and if, like, you're, I don't know, skilling or something, they might, like, telelock you or freeze you or something, and it's your job to just get out of there, or you can try to kill it like the Revenants did, but I'm saying it's going to be a little different because Revenants were fairly easy. Now, what if they added things that were really harder and they actually looked like you as a character. I mean, we've had full rune in AGS and stuff. And you'd really just try to PK with them. Or they could add another section of the game where they spawn an NPC and they PK like a normal person PKs and you'd fight them. I don't know if they could do that, but if they could, they could I mean, you're getting the PKing, you're getting the free bossing areas, you're getting a one-time paying deal, and stuff like that. So with that, guys, it's been like 13 minutes or so, so I'm going to leave you with that. Um, please like this video, please favorite this video, please uh, share this video with other people so the word can get out about it, this uh, this idea, because I think this would be a great um, sell for Jagex and a great game for us to buy from Jagex. Um, I mean, we all know how the gameplay is and stuff like that, but I mean, they might be able to enhance it being on a CD. So in any way, guys, please share the video. I can't stress that enough because I think this vid this uh, idea can go a long way. At the beginning, I was kind of slow with this, but I mean, I really built up to really into getting into this video. Um, so please rate, comment, subscribe, share the video, please. I don't say that on every video, like sharing, that is. So uh, thanks. See ya.